Okay, so welcome back to another video and today we're not playing our normal games. Okay, so we're gonna play something called Dagon. Okay, that game will be posted like on the screen. Hopefully, I for don't forget to add that in, but that's gonna be posted on the screen. You guys can go check it out for yourselves, but there is some warnings. Side effects may include insomnia. So I'm doing this because I got curious. Okay, the game looked nice. So I was like, let's go. Let's make a video on this. So please, if you guys have like trouble sleeping, do not watch this video. I have to repeat that twice. Do not watch this video because I don't want you guys to get insomnia and be like the rest of the people who can't sleep, okay? All right, so, well, this is our loading screen. Kinda just give me uh, really bad vibes right now, but let's start. And I'ma hope that my microphone's good, my everything's good, okay? All right, let's start. Okay, Dagon is a faithful interactive adaption of the HP Lovecraft's work. Focus on story and atmosphere. You will not find difficult choices, action sequences, or sequences, or inventory management here. And movement is limited to progressing through locations along with the plot. Okay, so from the game description, it basically just told us that it's just a 30 minute game, right? You don't have to do much action going on, but it's just telling you guys a story, okay? Okay. Okay, that's a bit different. Um, it is, right? I'm pretty sure it is different. As always, um... Okay, so... I'm writing this under an appreciable mental strain since by tonight I shall be no more. That's kind of like literature at this point. Um, I'm not good with English, so... You guys gotta bear with me. During this game, you will encounter interactive elements. Some of them will allow you to continue your journey. Others reveal interesting facts about the original short story. It's historical background in the author. Okay. So I guess that's our little cursor. And, um, I don't know what this means. Okay. Some of this trivia is hid hidden. In order to find these secrets, focus your eyes and look for the Elder Sign. What Elder Sign? Okay, I think this is the Elder Sign. It might be. I don't know, I might be uh, kind of stupid right now. Well, okay. Oh. Okay, so first of all, why would you cash yourself? And where the hell am I? Okay. Okay, so. See, I'm kind of speechless right now because it sounds really, really interesting. Oh, we can zoom in. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. We can zoom in. Got it, got it. What's this? I should have pressed on the question mark. Uh, it's fine. Why am I here in the first place? Okay, I don't see nothing to click on but that. Did something happen? Okay.
So what is this? War or something? Okay. The seeker find the first piece of trivia. Oh, it's a trivia in the first place? I should have gotten that first trivia. Okay. The Huns. The Huns were Central Asian nomads who established the Dominion in Europe and invaded the Roman Empire in the 5th century AD. They were known as brutal, deadly warriors and masters of quick raids, who also developed powerful composite bows, lassos, and early siege weapons. During World War I, the British used the word Hun as a cinnamon for Germans in order to emphasize their brutality. However, the term originated when the German Emperor Wilhelm II gave a speech to his troops on, st on, t uh, on 27th July 1900 before the day embarked to China. Should you encounter the enemy, he will not be defeated. No quarter will be given. Prisoners will not be taken. Whoever falls into your hands is fortified. For fight, forfeited. Yes, just as a thousand years ago, the Huns, under the King Atali, uh, made a name for themselves, one that even today makes them seem mighty in history and legend. May the name Great German be affirmed by you in such a way in China, that no Chinese will ever again dare to look cross-eyed at a German. The refusal to take prisoners was a clear breach of the laws and customs of war adopted during the first High Convention of 1899. So, it's basically just World War I. You can read the Discover Trivia immediately or go back to find them in the main menu. Turn off Displaying Trivia in the f if you find that this feature distracts you from the story. This can be changed anytime in the options. Eh. Let's do show, I guess. Okay. So what else is there? Oh, so this guy was escaping or something. Right? Okay. Any other clues that I might need? What is this? You know what I realized? I realized it's so dark. Okay, so this guy had um, escaped fully. Okay, so I guess we're on this little, um, what do you call it? Boat. The scenery is actually kind of nice, not gonna lie though. Okay. So you're telling me that we're still on this boat. Well, you got paddles. You can just row your way through. Not gonna lie. Okay. Is this guy laying down? Is this why I'm like I'm pointing at the sun right now? <laughs> okay. Strange. Okay. Oh. Oh, um. Yeah, now I, 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 I think I can see why they said the insomnia side effect. What is this? A squid, isn't it? It's a squid or an octopus. Um, kind of distorted ones. Oh, it's a hellish black mire. That's kind of scary, not gonna lie, but... Okay. Uh... 
Honestly, I'm horrified too. Is that my ship over there? My boat? Like, right over there? I'm pretty sure that's my boat, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll be honest. Why is why would there be decaying fish in the first place? Is it because of this monster? I think it probably is, right? Okay. Okay, so now this is my question. Is it like actually this big in first place or not? Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, I didn't even realize it's nighttime yet. Okay, so what's this? The origins of Dagon. Dagon seems to be inspired by Fish Head, a short novel by Irvin S. Cobb about unnatural affinities between a hybrid idiot and a strange fish of an isolated lake. Supernatural horror in literature, H.P. Lovecraft. And Lovecraft's dream about a strange island emerging from the ocean and him crawling in the ooze that covered its surface. I dream that whole hideous crawl and can yet feel the ooze sucking me down. In defense of Dagon, H.P. Lovecraft. Lovecraft's interest in this topic stemmed from his aversion to fish and sea smells. In his own words, I have hated fish and feared the sea and everything connected with it since I was two years old. But I cannot recall what earlier experience gave me such a profound and lasting aversion to the sea and seafood. The Dweller in Darkness, Lovecraft, 1927, Donald Wandre. Okay, that gave us some information. Oh, you can hear the sounds they're making. Sounds disgusting. Of course it does. Okay, hey, so we got dead things, I guess is it? Well, yeah, there's like some random things coming out of the water, of course. No, that's a dead fish. Wait, so, this is like, are we still on a ship or not? I thought they said that this guy got half eaten or something. Okay, good. Okay, sounds good. Um, what do you want to do? Okay, what else? Okay, so it dried up. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling what you're feeling right now, bro. Honestly, I'm feeling nauseous too. Oh, the sounds, bro. Disgusting. What are these things? What are they, dead fish? Hmm. Of course. They can't be dead fish though. Yeah, what the... Wait, is that a whale? 
No, that's that's a whale. What is that? A big colossal squid or something that got shut up on shore? Shore. Swept up on shore. Okay, it's dark. Oh, that's actually really high. Um, you sure you want to do this? Okay, good, good, good. This guy's sleeping. Of course, they're wild. Says something about insomnia. It's actually really um, dark, not gonna lie. Why are you facing me this way? <laughs> I don't wanna. Oh, is this guy really gonna like climb this whole entire thing? Are you? What do you want me to do? Yeah, you do want me to do. This is actually getting me scared now. I don't know what's gonna happen next. I'm lost too, bro. You're getting me lost. You're getting me lost, and I'm getting you lost, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Are we going downwards or I think we're going downwards, right? We should be. Yeah, I can't see nothing, bro. I can only see the moon. <laughs> what is that? So what do you want me to do? What's the message? I'll make nothing. Did 
this guy's really educated, honestly. You want me to go to this rock? Oh, hieroglyphics. Okay. What is it? A water god, a fish god, something like that? Yeah, what is there? What is that? What the hell? What is that? Those lizards? <laughs> Looking like lizards. Well, the top ones we can find out. It's like a hammerhead shark or something. Certain sort of menace crazy. That's what I'm saying, right? Imaginary gods. Could be. Oh, what, bro? Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, what is that? That looks like a man. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't get to do that, man. <laughs> Why am I getting woozy now? Okay. We still have this really eerie feeling. What is that? Why is everything appearing green now? Like... And then the music is also getting like really really eerie in my ears or something like that. Oh. They had a storm.
थे Oh, we're at the hospital now. What does the hospital see? Delirious but free, escape the horror. Oh, so we escaped the horror, guys. Let's go. That was actually like really, really, really bad, bro. It was actually bad, bad. I'll be honest, that was actually really, really bad. Journalist. Okay, so you guys can pause it and uh, read this because I'm not going to read this whole paragraph, okay, guys? You guys can read that on your own. Just pause the video. You guys do it. But I continue on. The fish god now. Okay. Okay. You guys know what to do. You guys can pause and read that. Is there anything else? Oh. Why is there still this like really heavy and eerie feeling right now, bro? Why does it just continue? I just don't understand why it continues. This like this feeling that something's gonna like scare the hell out of you. Don't tell me we're gonna start this again. You're telling me you're killing yourself now. Lovecraft on tobacco and alcohol. Oh, okay. That's true, yeah. Why is it shaking now? Now we're destroying what New York City? That don't look like New York City, man. That's just a Statue of Liberty, and it is no High Line. <laughs> okay, I can tell. Distorted vision. Oh, it's the same hand from before. That's a window? 
You gotta be kidding me. Also, you basically just locked yourself in. What can I press? What can I press? What can I press? Oh, you're going out the window. Oh, now I understand. Okay. Oh, so from madness to oblivion, escape the madness. Oh, so that was um. Uh, that was the end of this game. Okay. Honestly, that was really, really, actually, like that was really good. I'm not gonna lie, but that was, I think, the best I've ever played something before. So, okay, so you know what? That was the end of this video, right? By the time you see this, it's gonna be all out, right? But, you know what, if you guys thought, hey, you know, you guys wanted to play this game, right? Please be cautious of it, because there's cosmic horror and there's side effects of insomnia, okay? So thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Hope I don't get insomnia now. <laughs>